I feel pathetic for ever messaging her and even more pathetic at my lack of any relationship success. Brother, you are focusing on the wrong freaking things, dude. Hey guys, Tristan Social here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a article or a post from the Reddit user Bob's Kamano 22 uh, He had a really interesting take that I think can help a lot of people. And I wanna go ahead and give uh, some advice to some people that might be going through the same situation. So Bob said, my self-esteem hit a new low. I texted my ex who dumped me a year ago. I feel so ashamed of myself and it's just showing how burned by dating and romance I have become. My ex and I were super in love in 2020 and then in a matter of a few days, she dumped me over text. Text. I thought I was eventually going to marry this girl. I've since been still so sore about it and how she could so easily remove me from her life. My friend, I want to just, you know, take this moment to go ahead and address this. This isn't the full article, but if somebody doesn't appreciate you and somebody doesn't love you and respect you enough to go ahead and have this kind of conversation with you in person, if they feel like you don't add enough value to their life, that they can go ahead and easily remove you. And if they feel like it's easier for them in the short, medium and long term to go ahead and have that action via text message. This is somebody that was going to be removed from your life through one way or another in the future. So you should be very thankful. I know it's so hard to say that you should be thankful that it happened like this, but that's having a short term vision view on the matter. When you when you find the one that's perfect for you, when you work on yourself and you build your value in yourself and you build your self-esteem back up through a lot of, you know, positive actions such as meditation, journaling, working out and reading. I think working out is the number one thing that can build self-esteem the fastest. And it's just the most rapid way to go ahead and put yourself back into the limelight of viewing yourself as a valuable individual, learning high income skills, learning new new skills like video editing or, you know, going to networking events, stuff that we go over all the time on this channel. But I want to just say I feel for you. I definitely feel for you. It's not easy to lose somebody via text message, but this is an opportunity to think much in the future. You're going to be sitting one day and just feeling like, oh my God, I'm so lucky that she broke up with me like this. I'm so lucky that she dropped the opportunity to have an amazing guy like me in her life that just wanted truly the best for her. You're going to feel that one day. And I encourage you to feel that sort of a feeling and emotion right now before it happens. So you can go ahead and line yourself up with that reality. So when it does happen, it feels like a feeling of familiarity and not one of, of foreign feeling. So let's go ahead and keep on reading this. Since then, I've been bouncing from bad date to bad date, ghostings, rejections, and the like. I used to meet before her. I guess that long line of negative results has turned me upside down. You know, definitely, definitely a spew of a bad date here, a bad date there. It can go ahead and make it seem like this, the cards are stacked against you and you're kind of destined and determined for these sorts of things. But what, what in this situation, the best way to go ahead and combat that, my friend, is to go ahead and start stacking small wins. Small wins change the, the way of the game. So many times people are trying to lose 100 pounds. So many times people are trying to hit a grand slam with nobody on base when really what they should be doing is taking better swings. Try and get contact with the ball. If you're not hitting the ball at all, why are you going to go for a home run? You should go for a foul ball. You should go for a single. Getting contact on the bat. Like those types of things really start stacking up and make you feel a lot better about your situation. And look at it like this. You're going on dates, brother. Like that's huge. You have women that are seriously interested in you that want to go ahead and spend some time with you. Maybe they're not the right ones. Maybe you keep finding the same woman in different clothes. There's a lot of different things that could be happening in your situation, my friend, that we can go ahead and address, you know, in future videos, private conversations, consultations, whatever it is that you want to do. But you have people that want to go on dates with you. you there's, there, that's the biggest thing. You can go ahead and just start tweaking little things here and there and look at the big successes and figure out how far away you are from an even bigger success. You have people that are interested. They're not the people that you exactly want to be interested, but you have people, you have a foundation, you have a baseline foundation. That is huge, my brother. That is super, super, super huge. So now you can start fine tuning the details to go ahead and get you to that end result that you want right there. And that, my friend, is super powerful to think about. Instead of looking at the negative of the situation, start looking at the positive of the situation. Yeah, these girls are ghosting me. Yeah, but I, I can get on dates. Look at me, I'm an attractive guy that can go ahead and get into situations where people wanna spend time with me. Whoa, I just got to do a better job at choosing which ones are going to be. Uh, go ahead and get back into the, the article. 
To be clear, the pretext of the conversation was just checking on her and catching up, but I deep down wanted her to come back to me. She said she'd only want to be friends before I could allow myself to. So yeah, the, first and foremost, my brother, you got to stop lying to yourself. You got to be truthful and honest with yourself 100%. If I can see through your text messages that you just lied to yourself right there, you know deep down that you're lying to yourself. The only thing that you owe to yourself is honesty and truth and 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 believability and what it is that you have to say. If you can't trust what you say, you're gonna keep on attracting these people that are untrustworthy, that are gonna ghost you, that are gonna be bad dates. You have to go ahead and look internally in who you are and what you're providing to yourself before you can over go ahead and look at what you're gonna provide to another human being in their situation, in their circumstance. My brother, I encourage you to clean the closet out. If there's anything about yourself that you wanna change, write it down and look at yourself as a machine. Like, it, look at yourself physically as a machine. If there are problems with the machine, it doesn't do the machine any good to ignore those problems. It doesn't do the machine any good whatsoever. What, it, it, we do it as humans all the time. I have a flaw, let me just ignore it, let me just ignore it, let me just ignore it. No, if it's a fixable flaw, go ahead and address it. Write it down, make it physical so you can physically change it. Something that's intangible, something that is intangible cannot be changed. When you write it down onto a piece of paper, then it is tangible, then it can be fixed, then it can be edited, then it can be sorted and it can be organized into something that you wanna change. And with organization comes correct action, my friend. That's the biggest name of the game. Write down what it is that you wanna change about yourself. First and foremost of being un dishonest with yourself and and being dishonest with me and the Reddit community as well. I'm gonna go ahead and stop that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and stop that right there because I can see through it. YouTube can see through it. We can all see through it. You especially can see through it because when you're being dishonest with yourself, you're the only one that suffers at the end of the day. And that's huge. That is so huge. And I needed to hear that as well. I needed to put myself in the situation to go ahead and rebound things verbally. Because when it's verbal, it's a, it's, a, it's a tangible thing. Thoughts are things. Words are powerful, my friend. Words are absolutely powerful. So I hope you're getting a little bit of con a little bit of clarity out of this. We're going to go ahead and, and round this article out. I, I love the fact that you came looking for help, Bob. Love the fact that you came looking for help. I know that you're going to get it. I know that you're going to find it. Uh, take some of the advice, but let's go ahead and finish this thing out. I'm just worried for myself that I've been too damaged by bad dating luck. My self-esteem seems to be permanently damaged. It seeped into my soul and has started to attack my self, sense of self-worth and being. I feel pathetic for ever messaging her and even more pathetic at my lack of any relationship success. Brother, you are focusing on the wrong freaking things, dude. You are focusing on the wrong freaking things, dude. Oh my goodness. Let me go ahead and break this down in simpler terms for you. I got, I got these apples in my bowl, man, but they, they're, they're not ripe. You got apples in your bowl, bro. Like, think about it like that. You got some food on your plate, man. Dude, and stop talking to yourself like this. Stop talking about yourself like this. Your subconscious mind takes this stuff seriously, very seriously. You're painting the picture of who you want to be inside of your mind every single day. It is something that you create. You By throwing these words out there, it's like throwing seeds that you're gonna go ahead and eat the fruit up every single day thereafter. It could be one week, one month, one year, 10 years down the line that you're still eating these same fruits. So the second that you start changing the words that you use to describe Describe yourself pathetic, seeping into my soul, permanently damaged. My brother, cut that nonsense out. Clip it out of your vocabulary, brother. That is not serving you at all, bar none. Not serving you in the absolute slightest. And the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and cut those words out of your dictionary. Absolutely so. As soon as you start, as soon as you stop, referring to yourself as that or stop referring to yourself as those words you're gonna stop finding yourself in situations that you don't want to be in all right this is making me emotional because this is such thing such a thing that's so common in our society nowadays negative self-talk that's just normal stop it knock it off that's not what we're gonna do over here anymore that's not who we are all right we are strong intelligent capable individuals that can see a problem and change it because we are human beings and human beings by the definition of genius can change and alter their reality without harming other individuals. And that's what you are, my friend. You are a genius in your core of core and your soul of soul and your hearts of hearts. And I need you to start acting like it, Bob. 
I need you to start acting like it. All right, so cut these words out of your vocabulary, brother. Your self-esteem hit a new low because you describe it as hitting a new low. This is the beginning of your hero story. This is the beginning of a new day, Bob. This is the beginning of your comeback, brother. This is what rock bottom feels like. That's the bottom of the cup. Put your feet together and blast off of the bottom. Man. If you made it to this point in the video, I hope I gave you guys a little bit of value. Just a little bit. I hope that if you ever find yourself in Bob's situation, you can go ahead and find yourself not in Bob's situation anymore. Change that. Use the advice that I have given you guys in this video to go ahead and change your own life. If you ever find yourself in a self-esteem situation where you feel like you're not there, brothers, sisters, cousins, uncles you have the power to change. And that's the biggest thing I can give you guys, the belief that you have the power to change. But you gotta have the desire. You gotta have the desire to change. And then you gotta have the belief. Then you gotta create a plan and you gotta execute that plan. And then you gotta persist until that plan succeeds, baby. That is the formulation to success. And I love you guys so much for watching this video to this point. I hope you gained a little bit of value. I know I got some value from even saying it. I love you guys so much. Let's have a wonderful day.